Dobar dan, dragi učenici, dobrodošli na još jedan sat engleskog jezika za šeste razrede. Današnja tema su ekstremni sportovi. Moje ime je Karolina i danas ću biti vaša učiteljica. Na kraju ovog nastavnog sata moći ćete razumjeti tekst slušanjem i čitanjem na temu o ekstremnim sportovima, imenovati različite vrste sportova i njihove specifičnosti, napisati jedan informacijski obrazac o sportskom događaju. Molim vas pripremite sav potreban pribor za današnji sat, a to je bilježnica, olovka, gumica, jedan od uređaja za spajanje na internet i ako je moguće uređaj s opcijom skeniranja QR koda za izravan pristup interaktivnim sadržajima izvan prezentacije. Voljela bih vas podsjetiti da ako gledate snimku preko kanala, u svakom trenutku možete istu pauzirati i nastaviti nakon što ste spremni za dalje. To vrijeme će vam biti potrebno dok rješavate zadatke na koje dolazite preko poveznica i QR kodova. Ok, we may begin. The world of sports is wide. What sports can you recognize in this image? Can you name them all? Which one is your favorite? As a warm-up, I would like you to match the words to the pictures. On our list, we have swimming, tennis, golf, cycling, ski jumping, surfing, skateboarding, figure skating, horse riding, inline skating and climbing. Are you ready to check your results? Number one, swimming, plivanje. Number two, tennis, tennis. Number three, golf, golf. There is yarn day. Cycling, number four, bicikliranje, vožnja bicikla. Ski jumping, skokovi, number five. Six, surfing, surfanje. Seven, skateboarding, skatanje, vožnja skateboarda. Eight, figure skating, umjetničko klizanje. Nine, horse riding, jahanje. Ten, inline skating, rolanje. Eleven, climbing, penjanje. And number 12, baseball, baseball. We can divide sports into different categories depending on where and when they take place, what media they require. We have indoor sports and outdoor sports. Indoor sports are sports like basketball and outdoor sports are sports like football. Postoje sportovi koje igramo vani na otvorenom ili u zatvorenom, kao primjerice košarku. We've got team sports and individual sports, such are handball or tennis, timski sportovi poput rukometa ili individualni sportovi poput tenisa. We have summer sports and winter sports. Imamo zimske i ljetne sportove, ljetne poput surfanja, i zimske poput skijanja, surfing and skiing. Depending on the media, we can divide sports into four categories, water sports, air sports, land sports, snow and ice sports. Prema mjestu, odnosno mediju koji je potreban da bi se ovi sportovi odvijali, dijelimo ih u četiri kategorije, vodeni sportovi, zračni sportovi, kopneni sportovi i sportovi na snijegu i ledu. There are many different facilities for different sports, such as athletic track, gym, basketball court, boxing ring, cricket ground, cycling track, football pitch, footpath, golf course, ice rink, motor racing circuit, race course, rugby pitch, skate park, ski slope, swimming pool, tennis court, and many more. Here is a link and a QR code to your sports facilities vocabulary practice. Try to find all of the terms and practice their pronunciations. Furthermore, translate them in Croatian and write them down in your notebooks. 
Different sports ask for different equipment, from basic things like swimming suits to more complex like oxygen tanks. The list is quite long. Some of the equipment is listed here. Goggles, gloves, helmet, paddle, rope, flippers, life jacket, compass, boots, map, snorkeling mask, oxygen tank, poles. Can you find the names for these terms in Croatian? I invite you to look at this picture. What can you see? Can you recognize any of the activities or sports? Yes, they are all extreme activities and sports. What do you think about the people in the picture? Are they crazy or courageous? I wonder. Extreme sports are known to be very dangerous but exciting. They share other names like adventure sports and action sports. Can you see the list of the words on the right? Yes, these are the words extreme athletes use when talking about extreme sports. Action, adventure, adrenaline, speed, danger, courage, tricks, stunts, and pure love. Which word describes extreme sports the best, in your own opinion? There are different types of extreme sports too. Two main categories are extreme vehicle sports and extreme non-vehicle sports. We break the first category down to motorized and non-motorized sports, gliding and rolling sports. There are four combinations all together. The first is motorized and gliding, such as water skiing. The second one is motorized and rolling, such as motocross. The third one is motorized and gliding, such as snowboarding. And the fourth one is non-motorized and rolling, such as BMX. Extremni sportovi dijele se na više kategorija. Glavna podjela je na one koji koriste različite vrste vozila i oni koji to ne koriste. U prvoj kategoriji imamo svega četiri kombinacije. Ovisno o tome jesu li motorizirani ili bez motora, te oni na kotačima ili bez njih, možemo ih tako svrstati u te četiri kategorije. In addition, we split extreme sports accordingly to the media, air, water, snow and ice, and land. I invite you to copy this link or scan the code and find three sports in each of these categories on the site provided. Good luck! What sports have you chosen? I have chosen the following four. The first takes place in the open sky. As I read the description of this sport, please pay attention to the equipment needed for skydiving. Equipped with a parachute, backpack, goggles and a helmet, skydivers jumped out of helicopters and planes. They enjoyed the free fall. Once they are close to the ground, skydivers open their parachute. Apart from the adrenaline, they enjoy wonderful landscapes. Have you been paying attention? Which one is the odd one out? Parachute backpack? Flippers? Goggles or helmet? Hmm. Yes, you're right. Flippers. We don't need flippers for skydiving. The second extreme sport that I have chosen for you is cave diving. Cave divers enter dark caves that look like they're from another world. They have a great sense of orientation since the only light that lights their way comes from the flashlight they are wearing. How do you find this sport? Would you dare to go cave diving? While thinking about cave diving, I want to offer you a short brain break. Are you ready? Can you see the part of the last sentence in bold? Can you say it very quickly? I dare you. I would like you to guess the name of the next extreme sport. Think about the categories that we still haven't thought about. Listen to this athlete talk about his sport. 
Try to guess what it is. I train in one of the most popular extreme sports. It has become both my job and my hobby. Since I am very good at it, I have won various competitions. I have even been to the Olympics. The best thing apart from competing is the freedom I feel when riding down the snowy mountains. The view is astounding. My fellow athletes are always ready to take on a challenge, no matter the place. Downhill, slalom, halfpipe, or fun park. You name it. Were you thinking of snowboarding? Well done. I bet you were able to guess it. Here is another task for you. Take a look at this young man. Can you spot any details that will help you in guessing our last extreme sport of the day? Take a few moments to look for the clues. The young man's name from the previous slide is Fabio. He's one of the best BMX riders in the world. Was it hard for you to guess? Thank you anyways for your hard tries. I admit that it was difficult. So BMX is one of the most popular extreme sports. Cyclists are always trying to outdo one another through crazier and higher reaching tricks. A helmet, knee, shin and elbow pads keep riders safe. Remember Fabio? He's an excellent BMX rider, but also a very creative person. During his time in isolation, Fabio wasn't bored. He created a whole new home office to keep himself busy. Are you keen on finding out how he built his home office? Seems impossible. I invite you to join me in watching this short clip, but please do not try this at home. Thank you, Fabio. What do you think about this video? Is Fabio crazy or brave? Feel free to watch the full video and try to count Fabio's tricks. It is time for you to meet another amazing extreme athlete. His name is Marin Rantes. Marin is a BMX rider from Croatia. Some call him a BMX wonder child. In 2012, Marin was named the best Croatian BMX rider. He has won many competitions since. In 2018, Marin won the first place in one of the biggest BMX competitions. I have created this fact file about Marin for you. Please go through the fact file and notice the details included. Do you like his motto? 
When talking about competitions, have you heard of Pannonian Challenge? This is the most important extreme sports event in Croatia. Extreme athletes from all over the world come and compete during this event. Are you keen on finding out more? Please follow this link and simply enjoy. Dragi učenici, kako bismo zaokružili ovaj naš video sat, vaš zadatak je izraditi informativni letak na temu Pannonian Challenge događaja. Here is a cheat sheet for your homework. It takes three steps to successfully finish it. Step one, go online and find out about Pannonian Challenge. Please follow the link on the right. Step two, include all seven important details in your fact file. Number one, event name. Number two, place. Number three, dates. Number four, sports. Number five, facilities. Number six, athletes. And choose three information about three different athletes, please. And number seven, answer this question. How popular is it with athletes and audience? Step three, your final step, is to add visuals linked to the competition, such as a logo. Dragi učenici, ukratko, vaš zadatak, kao što sam ranije rekla, je izraditi jedan informativni letak koji mora uključiti sve ove stavke navedene ovdje. Prođite kroz sva tri koraka. Prvo potražite više informacije o samom događaju na internetu. Nakon toga u vaš informativni letak uvrstite svih ovih sedam stavaka, ime događaja, mjesto održavanja, datumi događaja, sportovi koji su zastupljeni, posebni objekti gdje se odvija natjecanje i po tri informacije od najmanje tri različita sportaša s natjecanjem. Odgovorite također i na pitanje o popularnosti događaja među natjecateljima i publikom. Učinite ga zanimljivim. Sretno! Kako biste znali da ste na dobrom putu izvršavanju zadataka, ovdje je lista procjene koja će vam u tome pomoći. Ako ste u izradi svog letka mislili na ove tri stvari, onda će vaša zadaća biti uspješna. Number one, I have followed and completed all three steps for my homework instructions. Prošao sam kroz sva tri koraka u svojoj zadaći. Number two, my fact file has all seven parts in step two from my homework instructions. U svoj informativni letak uvrstio sam svih sedam važnih informacija. Number three, I have included visuals in my fact file. I broj tri, uključio sam neka likovna vizualna rješenja kako bi moj informativni letak bio zanimljiv. To see where you stand and where you need to go, do this simple self-check. The first statement that needs to be checked either excellent, good or not yet is I can understand and talk about extreme sports. Number two, I can write a fact file about extreme sports competition. Dragi učenici, molim vas da napravite svoju procjenu znanja tako da ćete ove dvije izjave u plavom ocijeniti ocjenom odličan, dobar ili nisam još uvijek siguran. Prva izjava je mogu razumjeti i razgovarati o ekstremnim sportovima, a druga je mogu izraditi informativni letak na temu događaja, odnosno natjecanja u ekstremnim sportovima. Once again, I would like to thank you, dear students, for joining me in another video lesson and to all the people that helped in creating it. Vidimo se drugi put. Thank you. Goodbye.